welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is Erica please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already so today is Monday February 1st that is so crazy to me surprisingly I feel like January flew by usually that's like the longest month of the year but it's mind-blowing to me that it's already February so happy February today I just wanted to do a little day in the life vlog I got good feedback on the last one I did and you guys seem to enjoy it so I thought I would just start vlogging more I assume today is gonna be a pretty chill day I want to do like some reorganizing in my room I already reorganized my entire bookshelf yesterday and I dusted it and it just looks a hundred times better also just for health reasons I realized how important it is to dust all your like furniture in your room pretty often because like breathing all that like toxic dust in is just like not a good thing for us so yeah did my bookshelf yesterday today I want to get to like my desk and then my other two little nightstand dresser things that I have I also might have to go to the post office to ship out a depop order so I will probably do that that's kind of all I really have planned for today so far <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a little face mask this morning and this video is actually in collaboration with Gleeman. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I apply their vitamin C clay mask. Look at this packaging you guys. This is not like so cute. The bright yellow, I'm living for it. And it comes with a little brush to apply the mask. I've never used a mask that came with a little brush so it just makes it that much more convenient and easy for you so when you order the mask this is the little box that it comes in so it just tells you all about it even a little how to use guide on the side and of course the ingredients so I just love the colors that they chose for their packaging so cute so I'm gonna be applying this mask and what I love about vitamin C masks is that they help your skin have that natural glow they just enhance that this one specifically has turmeric and aloe vera which are are two of like the best things that you can use on your skin as you can see it's like a bit of a yellow color because the turmeric but it does not stain your skin which is amazing because turmeric can do that sometimes so I already put my hair back in a headband just to make sure I don't get any mask in it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it oh I kind of got a lot but the best thing is that with this brush you can easily spread it out it smells amazing like oh, i don't even know how to explain it. it just smells like so fresh so the thing that's amazing about this mask is that it helps to reduce dark spots and hyperpigmentation in the skin also i'm looking at a mirror that's right here so that is where i am looking right now Fortunately, in the last year, I'd say, my skin has cleared up significantly, but the thing that I still kind of struggle with is just like acne spots from when I did get like cystic pimples on my face. I love that this mask is over time gonna help those, you know, dark acne scars fade away. Gosh, it smells so good. I already feel it starting to harden a bit. You only have to leave this mask on for 10 minutes. Now that the mask is all spread on my face, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes before I go ahead and rinse it off with some warm water. Okay guys, so as you can see, the mask is now hardened. It has been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go and rinse it off really quick and I will be right back. All right guys, so I just went ahead and rinsed off the lovely clay mask and I just put on some moisturizer and some SPF because SPF is so key. I feel so good and so refreshed. I can take this off now. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I just feel like my skin feels so good and I think it looks even a lot softer as well. 12 out of 10 I would recommend this mask. I will have the link below where you can purchase it. It's perfect for all skin types and I would use it about like one to two times a week i think i'm probably going to stick to using it once a week but i love using it in the morning and then at night i like to use like mud masks another thing i love about this is that it is vegan and cruelty free it has a little bunny on it right here so that is amazing definitely be sure to check out gleeman <music>
finished cleaning out my little desk cubby and this is all the stuff that I'm going to go recycle. Looks a lot better now. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, now I'm just going to dust some of my other pieces of furniture in here. So I finished up doing the cleaning and organizing that I wanted to get done and now I'm gonna go to the post office before it starts raining because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a storm like these next two days. So I just want to go and drop off this little Depop order here that I just packaged. I just decided to throw on something super comfy. I'm wearing this two-piece set from nasty gal i believe i'm also wearing my new shoes that i got in the last vlog i'll go ahead and show you guys in the mirror a full outfit shot all right so here is the little set that i'm wearing and then bam my white new nikes that is basically the look for the day i don't have any makeup on i might do my makeup when i get back I haven't decided yet but gonna go to the post office so I'm currently in the car right now and I'm actually in the drive-thru to get some Starbucks because I really want a bagel and I think I want to get a drink too. I don't know what I want though. I always struggle to like decide what to order from Starbucks as a drink because I feel like I don't have like a good go-to Starbucks drink. So please let me know what your guys' favorite drinks are at Starbucks. I really like the chestnut praline latte but that's mostly seasonal and I'm not sure if this Starbucks has chestnut syrup anymore or whatever it is that they use. I obviously already had hot coffee this morning so now I'm feeling something iced even though it's about to storm and be cold. <laughs> Welcome to Starbucks. Do you just a moment? Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry for the wait. What can I start for you? Hi, um, can I get a toasted sprouted grain bagel with the avocado spread? The sprouted grain bagel with avocado spread. Anything else? Yeah, and then can I get a tall iced honey oat milk latte with one pump of vanilla? That's it. <laughs> sorry. That'll be 815 at the window. Thank you. We're gonna try that drink and see how it is. So I just got back home. I stopped at the post office and luckily I didn't have to wait in the line because it was so long. But this is the drink that I got at Starbucks. I already tried it. I would rate it like an eight out of 10 probably. I got a oat milk honey latte with blonde roast and one pump of vanilla it must come with blonde roast because i forgot to ask for that but usually i do it's pretty good um it kind of let's see i like it because it's a good amount of sweet the oat milk is pretty spot on it kind of even tastes like a lavender latte a little bit so i don't know maybe i would rate it like an eight and a half actually and then of course i got a sprouted green bagel with avocado spread my go-to starbucks snack because it never disappoints <laughs> all right guys so i'm obviously back inside now and i am going to do some reading i'm going to read a chapter in this book that i just started which i am so excited for this is think like a monk by jay shetty and jay shetty 
Buddy is one of my favorite modern day spiritual teachers. I've listened to several podcast interviews with him as well as his own podcast on purpose, which I just can't believe. Like since I discovered him, he has just grown so much and just become so known by the world, which is amazing because I think what he teaches and how he teaches it is just so powerful. And he teaches in a way where he makes it simple enough for anyone to understand, even if they've never, you know, learned about spirituality or just cultivating purpose before. So he is definitely one of my favorite teachers of our time. So it is actually a couple days later. I didn't do anything yesterday, but I still wanted to continue this vlog just because I feel like the first day I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to because it just started raining and I just stayed in and I don't even remember what I did <laughs> after it started raining. Wanted to continue the vlog today. I am in the car, as you can tell, about to head to just do a couple things because one of my good friends came over last night and she forgot her purse. So I'm gonna go and drop that off for her because she works all day and I pretty much am free until the afternoon today. I figured while I'm in the area dropping off her purse, I'll get coffee and avocado toast at one of my favorite cafes that's over on that side of town. I'm gonna go ahead and place my order online for pickup and then I'll stop at the cafe and then go to my friend's house. Later today, I'm just gonna be working from home and then I have a really exciting call in the afternoon. I think it's gonna be a very good day. Just picked up my avo toast and my coffee here. Guys, look at how beautiful this toast is. The bread is so thick. Oh, I just love it. I haven't tried the coffee yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be really good. So I'm obviously back home now and drinking my little iced oat milk vanilla latte, but I was just prepping for the call that I have in about an hour, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup now so I look a little bit more presentable and then I want to like probably film another video later on after I get off the call. I just want to have a really good productive content creating day. Gonna go ahead and do my makeup. All right guys so I just finished up with the call. It was awesome. It went super well and now I am gonna go to Home Depot actually with my mom because one of the properties that my family owns we're actually turning it into an Airbnb. So we've been working on decorating it, but the reason we're going to Home Depot is because we want to install a heater. So we're looking for like a portable fireplace. We haven't had much luck online, so we're gonna see if Home Depot has just like other options that maybe we aren't aware of. Once I start like actually decorating it, because so far we've only gotten like the couch and like a dining table but actually ended up returning the dining table so I still have to find like another one. Once I actually start doing like the interior design process I will make sure to vlog it for you guys because I love watching that kind of stuff and I just feel like it would make the vlogs like a lot more interesting. It's gonna be a really exciting process and I love interior design so it's just like a fun little project for me. We're gonna head to Home Depot probably really soon. We have arrived at the Home Depot. I hope you can hear me through my mask, but we're gonna see what they have in stock in the store, although I doubt they're gonna have what we're actually looking for, but we'll see. All right, guys, so they didn't have any of the fireplaces that we were looking for, but we did get some blinds for like the new windows that we just installed. So that's good. We didn't leave completely empty handed. So I'm obviously back home from Home Depot now. We just went in really quick to see what we could find. And like I said, we ended up getting just some blinds for windows that we installed recently. Now I'm just chilling here. I think I'm gonna do some reading. I always love to do like either reading or journaling at like golden hour. The sun is just about to start setting right now. I just feel like golden 
golden hour for me is like a time of reflection or at least I like to dedicate it to just like solo time. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out Gleeman. I will have their website and Instagram linked below. The mask is incredible as you guys saw. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you so much and don't forget to be here, be still, and be love. Bye guys.